Hey guys, Sheldon here, and this is the second update for the paper single shot pistol. And this is only a mini project, and in case you're wondering why I'm working on this mini project, that is because it's giving me a little bit more time to design some of those bigger projects that you guys have been requesting me to do for quite some time. First of all, just like before, this part is still separate, but I have glued this area on right there, and I've also added two extra little rectangular pieces, one right there and one right there, and that's to give this hook a little bit more surface area to be glued onto. So right there, as you can see, it basically creates a groove sort of thing, and there's a hole right there that this hook goes through this direction. And I pretty much always use the same wire for my projects, just like I did for the hidden blade here for the pins and all that stuff. So that's where this would go. And the rubber band or extension spring would attach to that hook and to this area on the hammer right there. And it would pull it back this direction. So right now, basically, I'm making sure all of these parts, like this step piece here, and the hammer, the trigger, and this grip area is exactly 400 thousandths of an inch this direction, so stacked up, and it needs to be that thickness in order for all of these parts to rotate correctly and, you know, lock in the right position. The outside diameter of the barrel is 400 thousandths of an inch as well, so it will fit in there just like that. So basically right now it looks like this two-dimensional drawing except for that area cut out right there. So make sure you guys let me know if you would like to see, you know, some of these smaller projects too. This one is pretty much almost done. It's almost all completely assembled and then I just need to fill up a few spots and that should be it for this project. I might do a tutorial on something like this. I think it would be pretty cool and it would help you guys understand a little bit more how basic stacking and paper crafting works and how to get those moving parts to work. Some people have issues getting paper crafting projects to work properly and trust me I know exactly how that feels and if you keep working on it and you keep trying your best to make sure everything assembles together properly it should work. I personally recommend starting off with a very small project in paper crafting just to give you a little bit more of a feel for paper and the characteristics that it has and you know certain types of glue and super glue. You'll figure out ways to speed up the process by making hardened paper in advance before you actually construct the piece that you're making. All of us pretty much develop our own techniques for certain things and I'm just trying to share some of them with you guys. So this project is already almost completely finished. I said that in the last video, but I realized I needed to do a couple other things to it just to finish it off. So like I said, these mini projects give me a little bit more time to work on the plans for those bigger projects that you guys will be seeing. And this also helps you see how some of these complex shapes can be broken down into simple basic shapes to form one big finished product. So I have a lot of new projects planned for this channel, lots of new videos in general, and hopefully I'll be adding a little bit more of a variety to this channel as well, which will be coming in the future, but everything takes time to do, and trust me, it will all be worth it because we're going to be doing some cool things in the future. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or in a personal message. And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see the latest updates. And I'll see you guys later.